Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TLC Trash Bar. I am, of course, your host, Cody. So we are down to the final episodes of 90 Day. 90 Day, or TLC, or whoever over there decided to take two weeks off between the previous episode and last night's episode. So as you guys know, we're going to cover our favorite people on this channel. I'm going to start out with Clayton and Annalie because, you know... A lot of you guys like me to cover them. I think they're pretty interesting, kind of fun to cover. A lot of cringe to be had. (laughs) So kind of, you know, but anyway. And of course, we're going to cover Sam and Citra. We might even get into some Gino and Jasmine. Also, sorry for my schedule recently. I know you guys are used to like boom, 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 four or five videos a week. I've had to slow it down a little bit. I'm a little sick. I think it's because the changing of the seasons, so I do apologize for not uploading, but then again, there wasn't really much to talk about recently. Some some of you like Smothers, some of you don't. Most of you guys just want me to cover 90 Day and kind of get frustrated when I don't. <laughs> so, you know, some and, I'm, and I've been sick, so that's, that's it. That's why. That's why I haven't been uploading. All right, so anyway, we are going to cover Season 10, Episode 17. The day is finally here. Clayton and Annalie are supposed to get married, and I have a bad feeling about this. I haven't seen the segment yet. I specifically held out so that you guys could get the most genuine, no bullshit reaction out of me possible. I'm not going to cover it, but basically earlier in the program, Annalie called her mother and said she didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. She brought up the fact that Clayton got angry about the stripper. Annalie talked to her mother, said that she was unsure about moving forward with Clayton, and uh, basically because Clayton got so angry about the stripper that came on the party bus. She got- Por favor, no strippers. ¿Cuál es la solución? Nunca de nuevo en este mundo que eso pasa de nuevo. This is just kind of the breaking point for Annalie. I don't think, I think it's just a buildup of everything. From the moment she touched down, she just she's not that into Clayton. You can tell. So let's see what happens with their wedding. Is she gonna show up? Is she not gonna show up? I don't know yet, but we're about to find out. All right. Yeah, they look so stoked to get married right now. <laughs> They're not even angry. They're just like out of it. I know they had to film these in advance, but Jesus, they look. <laughs> what is that look on Annalie's face? Clayton just looks like a guinea pig as usual. He has no expression. It's just guinea pig. And Annalie just looks like she just lost her mind. Three hours to wed. Three hours to wed. Wow. Okay. Three hours to wed and she's still on the bed with her cell phone? Come on, girl. This is over, guys. This is Jover. Después de tantos altos y bajos con Clayton, me siento nerviosa, ansiosa, con muchas cosas en mi cabeza. Pienso que si no estuviéramos en esta situación, me hubiera encantado tener más tiempo para poder decidir si quiero hacerlo o no. Porque es lo que va a pasar y la vida después de casados. There's about an hour to go until my wedding, and Annalie still hasn't responded to my message. As we get closer and closer to the actual minute of the wedding, it's becoming more of a concern that she might not actually walk down the aisle today. So- yeah, because you had a meltdown over the methadone clinic stripper. I think that was misplaced aggression. If Clayton's going to get angry, which he shouldn't anyway, but if he's going to get angry, he should have got angry at his sister. The sister knows how Clayton is. So, was she trying to stir up drama? Was there some sort of Machiavellian thing going on with the sister? Maybe trying to get in between them? Because we know that Clayton's sister doesn't like Annalie. From from the start, she's just like, oh, this, this girl's not good enough for uh, my brother. She's just trying to get a green card. That was, you, you guys remember that first dinner that we covered, like, uh, it was a while back now? But, yeah, it was so cringe and unnecessary, and I just get the vibe that Clayton's sister doesn't like Annalie. Clayton just reacted poorly. Clayton just reacted poorly. You know, and another thing is, if you're in a truly loving relationship, you can get through a situation like that. Clayton didn't say anything too extreme. It was just 
his overall body language and things like that. It just depends. I just feel like they're both very sensitive individuals. They're they're extremely sensitive. To be in this sort of situation where we're having a second guess, is she even going to show up to the wedding over s that little fight they had over the stripper? That just goes to show that they're just not meant for each other. They're not right for each other. How do I look besides the dress shoes? You look fine with the coat on. You're supposed to tell me that I look good, Cameron. I can't start this off lying. I'm your best man, not your best liar. Ooh, okay. Pull the coat down a little bit. There you go, man. Now you're looking good. Oh, yeah. See, that compliment feels real now. Yeah. Since I didn't lie to you earlier. Yeah, I mean, he looks he looks fine. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe Clayton needs to lose the beard or just do a goatee or something you know something's off i don't know how to explain it also his haircut i think he needs to up his game on his haircut he has like a 12 year old with autism haircut <laughs> kind of like a middle school looking my mom cut my hair haircut thing going on so i think that if he did something with his beard or did his hair or something he you know he'd honestly look better maybe like with a shaved head or like a haircut somewhere to mine with but him with the dark hair on top you know it's just like it, he looks like a guinea pig that's why i always say it because he loves gay pig so much he even looks like one and you always notice with people that have dogs and stuff sometimes they end up looking like their dog or the dog looks like them or something you know what i mean like people are attracted to things that look like them and they even try to become it's just like a subconscious thing it's some sort of social evolutionary deal that's built into us so that's why clayton looks like a guinea pig but i'm just giving recommendations as to how he could not look like a guinea pig yeah she even opened the message she did open it oh uh, so she opened it but didn't respond to she left you on red. That's that. actually worse. Of course she opened it. Everybody's on their phone 24 hours a day. Whenever you send somebody a text message and they don't respond, they read it. <laughs> Especially if it's been like eight hours or something like that. Everybody always is on their phone. You know, like, I wouldn't even be worried about that so much if she had just said, like, something today. Like, some fruitful message not just read and not respond yeah like i'm on my way that would have been a good one you know the past 90 days have been like a lot of up and down dude like i expected yeah some down but not like i'm packing my suitcase down or like maybe it's better if we don't get married down like yeah see he even knows it's it's definitely better if they don't get married i i don't something's going on like, for instance, where's Annalie's father? Does he even exist? Because <laughs> we've never seen a, even a photo of him, much less him being on video. For some reason, her mom could come on, though. What's happening there? <laughs> That's what frustrated me so much with Annalie, was that there's definitely something going on. She's the fa A lot of you had said in the comments, too, maybe the father is another man in the situation maybe Annalie's hedging her bets to figure out should she marry Clayton or this other guy if I'm just saying hypothetically right I don't have any proof but yes it's been sketched the entire time and the vibes are just not there they're not there I think this is a relationship built off of a hookup pretty much they went on that vacation they hooked up and then they're both probably fairly lonely people, or at least Clayton is. Maybe Annalie did have a plan. I don't know. But obviously you can tell they did have some romantic chemistry, some sexual chemistry at one point. But then when it comes day to day, Annalie living with Clayton in Kentucky with the mom in the closet, all of a sudden the chemistry's gone. Worst case scenario, she doesn't show up. I'm out there in front of you know, people that I care about, and I'm just here like, oh, yeah. Bride didn't show up. Like, what do you do in that? You cry, and that's the worst day ever. Uh, I think, what's up with Cameron, dude? What, I thought this was supposed to be his boy. 
Why is he... Why is he not on his side? <laughs> what do you mean you cry and that's the worst day ever? Are you supposed to tell him, it's okay, man. We'll figure it out together because we're friends. What's wrong with this guy? Seriously. It's as bad as it could possibly get, and that, if that's the case. Cam, come on, dude. It's not that serious, dude. It's a small wedding. If she doesn't show up, then you pretty much just put the blame on her. She's the one that decided to be immature and not even show up to the thing. She could have at least told him or called him and said, we need to reschedule or we need to call it off altogether and because of this, 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 and this. Annalie leaving Clayton on red is wrong, okay? She should say something to this guy, communicate. Look how much time they put into each other. <laughs> Cameron's like, it's going to be the worst day ever, bro. You're going to cry. You need to, if she doesn't show up, you need to cry in front of everyone because it's literally the worst thing that could ever happen to anyone ever. That's like echoing in Clayton's head right now. A little rocky last night you know a lot of emotions and tension and i'm kind of concerned she's not here and there's something not right i was in my closet eating some uh, cheeseburgers and i heard them fighting a lot there's a lot of tension right now i could hear it through the damn closet i could feel the tension through the closet so i know that they're some something's, something's off something's wrong right now even my cheeseburgers tasted weird. It's 5.53. Oh, dude. No. Oh, my God, dude. You gotta call it. You gotta call it, bro. Yes, I know that. Just a friendly reminder. Yeah, just call it. I understand that. Just call it. I cannot believe she ghosted him. Are you serious right now <laughs> did Clayton deserve this no there should have been some communication there's been a couple ups and downs but Clayton told me that uh, she was packing a bag last night so she might not even show up today I don't know what's running through Clayton's mind I honestly feel sad for him <sighs> have you heard from Annalie no, I haven't talked to her today, actually. It's my I'm standing at the altar. All the guests have arrived. I'm ready. Everyone in the audience is ready. And my bride is still not here. We are exactly 30 minutes late, so it's probably a good time to start talking to guests. If Annalie wanted to leave and go home, I'm not going to stop her from going back to her country. I want her to be here but I want her to want to be here. Pretty right. much all in her hands right now. Yeah, it's okay. They're making it so f dramatic. I mean, she just didn't show up. She ghosted him. It's okay. I think it's for the best, honestly, but I just can't believe she did it. Like, how little do you care about someone? You got in a fight with him. Oh, it was a small fight, too. He didn't even yell. He, he, he was too aggressive, okay? Not saying he was right, but people aren't perfect, man. <laughs> and you're... This... Annalie is so sensitive that they had that fight, and now she's gonna ghost him on the wedding day. Hopefully, Clayton can see this as... Like, your eyes are open now to the fact that this relationship is over. It needs to be over. They're not vibing anymore. You guys already know my opinion on these two. I, I, I've already told you in the past that they shouldn't be together. So, I just think it's terrible that she did this because there should have been some communication. And then this event could have just been canceled instead of bringing all these people together. And... They're making it out to be like people are going to be mad at Clayton or 
uh, ashamed or something. That's not the case. Annalie's just making herself look bad by doing this. I, honestly, I don't think Clayton's that bad of a guy. I just think he's just kind of cringy. Annalie's a bad person for doing this. <laughs> like, there should have been some communication. Or... Annalie, this was a bad thing for Annalie to do. I'm not going to call her a bad person, alright? I take it back completely. But, I let's try not to call anyone bad people, okay? <laughs> people are people. But, Annalie should have told him. I mean, this is just fucked, really.